We're back to the Neil Haley Show. I'm first excited to welcome my co-host, Lefty, my filmmaker. Lefty, how are you? Know you're, you're from Legacy Filmmaker, and you're excited about our guest, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. All right. So our guest today is Lucy Walsh, actor, author. I guess, can we put entrepreneur on that list as well, Lucy? Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole entrepreneur mindset, but this has got to be a whirlwind. I have a lot of clients who write books, and it, it's the feeling of finally getting it out. It's got to feel great, right? That's finally out. It really does. I mean, it was such a challenging experience to get this book done. And uh, I'm so just blown away that I get to hold it in my hand now and be here talking to you about it. A hundred percent. Go ahead, Lefty, first question. Yeah. So how, how did the love letters between Dale and Wanda influence the uh, understanding of family legacy and your own identity? Wow, that's a great question. Um I love when I get asked a question I haven't been asked before. Well done. Mm. Uh, the letters really, um, yeah, family legacy in the letters. I think um, the letters were very powerful for me because when I knew my grandfather in life, he was in his, you know, he was old. Um, older, I should say. 70s and 80s is not that old anymore. But um, he didn't really speak very much. And... And then he died of Alzheimer's, which took like seven years for him to pass that way. So I didn't know him very well as 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 a, an older man. But the letters, he's in his late 20s and he is vibrant and, and passionate and he's a poet. You know, he's just this young Romeo. And so that voice of my grandfather, I know like by heart, he's like an old friend. And so it's fascinating that these two aspects of the same man never came together in front of me. And that's how important it is to write a le write your legacy, right? Especially even someone else's legacy. It I'm thinking of doing it for my father. I lost five years ago. He uh, was wow. graduated number two in the Naval Academy, brilliant guy, uh, you know, MIT and everything and tell his story, worked for Am Admiral Rickover and to write his story wow. as part of it, even though I have a story to tell myself, it's kind of the same kind of situation for you. You had your story to tell, but also you had your leg, your family's legacy to tell as well. That's right. Yeah. And I think there's a big, that's so beautiful what you're doing uh, for your father. I think that it's really important. And this is the message I want to pass on is that we don't take our elders for granted. They don't lose their humanity as they get older. They are just like you and me. It's not us versus them. Like we think of older people as being separate from us, but it's not, it's us. And we're all going to get there We're everybody feels like they're 20 years old. It doesn't matter if they're 90, you know, we're all the same in our minds. And, and, um, what you just said about it being us as well, I think we all have this, this ache to understand ourselves. And we do that by, by looking at where and who we've come from. We do that by digging deeper into our ancestry and, and our loved ones. And we've got to be more curious because once they're gone, an entire world is gone. Each of us has this incredible world of a story inside of us. And, and we take each other for granted, I feel. And that's one reason why, Lucy, I'm working with Lefty to do my documentary of my comeback into professional wrestling and tell the story that wasn't told when I was a minor league pro wrestler and how I've used it in entrepreneurship to get to where I am today. So that same thing about storytelling so important oh that I want God. my kids to know my story, but I also want the world to know my story because I kind of hidden my days, my back days in professional wrestling. So it's it's all fitting right. perfectly with my co-host today, Lefty. Go with your next question, but Lucy and I definitely, I wish I had a longer time to chat with you to go deeper into this I conversation. Know. Yeah. I, I feel know, like there's so I much. Know. There's so much to be said. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Le go lefty. Yeah, no, I was just, uh, so did your, did your grandmother's stories and insights like impact your own perspective on life and how like you're navigating through your own personal journey? Yes. My, my interview with my grandmother really changed my life and my thinking. Um, I think I went into it as a younger person with a lot of uh, judgment about her life and things she had done. 
a lot of judgment we carry around with us when we're young and when we're <laughs> all times in our life. But mm-hmm. judgment, um, you know, judgment really. And I came out of it with emp- with a much deeper understanding of empathy and and compassion and acceptance and forgiveness. Uh, for myself and for her and and really understanding that it's about embracing our 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 brokenness that makes us human and that's what I mean when I say this taught me about truly living that's what I want to pass on is don't run from the pain don't run from those those broken parts of yourself, you know, where the shame and the embarrassment and the jealousy and all those feelings that we label as nasty, uh, that's that's what makes us human. And in, in celebrating that and embracing that in ourselves and each other, that's what, what intimacy is. And that's what, what makes us human. Without that, we're screwed. 100% we are. And uh, another part that I really is when you started recognizing when you were traveling with your, with your father on the road that he was famous. That's cool. Part of the book as well. Right. I mean, I think it's awesome in a way because you probably utilize that when you're, you're auditioning for acting gigs and you're doing different things. Nothing really is, is an awe strike struck thing for you because of the experience being in showbiz with your father in a way of just traveling. I'm sure that helps. Right. Yeah. It did. It it really, I think growing up in a famous family gave me the perfect learning ground to go on to speak about what it means to be truly human. It really qualifies me as an expert because <laughs> I've seen, I've seen the insides of fame and I know that it's all smoke and mirrors and that we are all the same on a soul level. And people don't, don't don't remember that you know they really dehumanize famous people we dehumanize each other constantly right. and i got to see it firsthand and it was a, a a huge uh learning learning process for me um yeah i mean being around fame like that is 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 very challenging it's it's exciting and it's thrilling and it's cool but it's also um very very there are very dark parts to it and it's very challenging and and, and painful and, and confusing. And, and you make choices as a, as a child that, that shape the rest of your life based on all of that. And I'm, I'm learning more and more about it every single day of my adult life. Absolutely. I can't believe we're running out of time. I wanted to just kind of say work. People can pick up your book and learn more about you. Where's the best place? Yeah, thank you. I would love to connect with your listeners. They can follow me on Instagram at the Lucy Walsh. And the book is available in stores and on Amazon. Thanks you again, Lucy. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Neil and Lefty. So great to talk to you. All right, take care. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment. 